Okay, when we're retrieving, uh, if you're lucky, your dog will go straight out and back. That's great, but what often is a real problem is getting the delivery right. And if it goes wrong, if your dog is spitting out the dummy, um, the best thing to do is to teach it to hold separately, which you can do indoors. Now, I, I've done this with Carrot, and uh, I do it indoors. And it can be when you're watching the telly, you can fit it in in an evening or in a day, and do it several times during the day. Carrot, <laughs> she's a silly puppy, aren't you? Carrot, sit. Good girl, sit. Sit. Okay, so I want to get her attention. Carrot. Oh, good girl, what is it? He, good girl. Dummy's lovely thing, he. Good girl, good girl. Carrot, hold, hold, gently, ah, gently. Dead, good girl. Carrot, he, what is it, what is it? He, 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 we. Good girl. Carrot, hold. Good girl. Very, very good. Very good. Dead. Good girl. So by doing it like this, there's no stress attached to it. You don't want to be force holding her. I've seen some terrible things on YouTube with dogs being made to force hold. If you watch those dogs as well later on, forgetting the frankly cruel process of getting them to hold, they will crunch their birds. They're so anxious about the process, they won't give the bird ever nicely to the owner. They have to pull it out and it's probably well damaged before it gets back to them. If you introduce anxiety with the retrieve, there's so many problems later on. So I would suggest if your dog is spitting out the, du spitting out the dummy, and that's probably happened because you've been too quick to take it when it was a little puppy. You know, you can introduce problems unwittingly but none of us are perfect and once we've got a problem we have to know how to get rid of it so I'd say teach the hold command indoors when you first start and the hold have it, um, carrot just gave me was lovely but it might be for one second when you start praise that and gradually build on it it's like every single thing is little tiny steps and don't get angry with your dog if it grabs at the dummy don't say no just tell it to sit tell it to be gentle and introduce it to its mouth. You never want to tell it no with a dummy because in, what's going to happen in a short while, you'll be wanting it to go and retrieve it. So always, always be positive about what you've got planned.